In this model of the human vertebral column, the elastic bands represent the ligaments, the intertransverse ligament, anterior longitudinal ligament, and the supraspinous ligament. Notice the movement of traction. Notice how the vertebrae relate with compression. Now with flexion of the spine. Flexion and extension. Here we have uh, a geometric shape called an icosahedron. You can see it's a number of these pentagonal shapes surrounded by five triangles. One, two, three, four, five. The interesting part of this, uh, this structure, it is a tensegrity model because of the relationship between the wooden struts and the elastic bands that hold together. Now, we're not typically used to observing structures like this. We're, we're more accustomed to structures that use a continuous compression model, like a house, which is bricks stacked upon each other, built from the ground up. Now, we sometimes think of the human structure similarly, that the head is stacked upon the neck, up on the shoulders, etc., etc. But consider for a moment that the bones are actually just suspended, held in place by the surrounding soft tissue. Observe here how the wooden struts, the wooden struts are being held in space, suspended in perfect balance with the help of these elastic bands. Notice that no one strut comes in direct contact with another. Notice how when, when there's a force applied on one end of the structure, how, how it's affected here indirectly through this ubiquitous web all the way onto the other end of the structure. And apply that to how that would affect the human skeleton as well. As we observe the movement of this tensegrity structure, notice the importance of the elastic bands and how they create such resilience and pliancy for the structure. Imagine if one of those elastic bands were to become overstretched, or in the worst scenario, severed entirely. Imagine how such circumstances would affect the entire structure. Here we get a good visual of how the elastic bands create flexibility. If the struts were rigidly bolted into one another, the structure might snap when a strong enough force was applied. But here the structure bends and flexes. Its malleability maintains its structural integrity. And finally, one more example of how movement in one part of the structure inevitably affects the entire structure as a whole.